custom diesel. Well, today we're going to do a, a quick tutorial on how to update your Smarty. Um, first thing we're going to do is go to www.madselectronics.com, which is Smarty's main website. Now when you get here, you're going to click on the downloads link at the top. And from there, you're going to scroll down and choose the toner that you have in the file you wish to update. Now the truck that we're going to be updating today is an 08 Dodge. And we're going to be installing the ME software, that way uh, we can run EGR and DPF deleting. So we come down here and find the J67ME and left click. And that's going to take us to our downloads page. Now before we actually get started with the download, there's some uh, couple of tools that we're going to have to install to our computer. Uh, we're using Google Chrome uh, as our browser and we're running Windows 7 on our PC. So the first uh, thing that we're going to download here is going to be the Smarty USB. It's under the tools link here and what this uh, software does it'll let the, the PC actually communicate with the Smarty. So uh, if you read the description it says Smarty USB downloader version 5.09A uh, a I'm sorry optimized for Windows XP, Vista and 7. So we'll left click one time on that and it's going to download. And it shows us down here that uh, the Smarty USB is downloaded. Now, the second thing that we're going to download is the 7-Zip uh, program. It's down here at the lower part of the page, uh, kind of in the center. You'll see the 7-Zip logo here. And the reason we have to download this, uh, these, <clears throat> these Smarty files are so large that uh, we can't download them in their true form. So they are put in a compressed folder and downloaded in a compressed folder. And then once the download is complete, we have to extract the original file out of the compressed folder before we can load it into the Smarty. So if we'll left click on the 7-Zip program, it's going to take us to this download page here. And uh, what we're looking for here is uh, typically going to be your first link right here at the top. Uh, download tab, type EXE, 32 byte, uh, 86, 1 megabyte. So click uh, the, the top download link one time, left click, and it says here that our download will start in just a few seconds. And uh, pretty much just wait for it to download, and we'll see here that it's, it's downloading now. And, uh, and now that download is complete also. So we'll return to our Mads Electronics download page. And right here under software upgrades, we have a couple of different options. Um, as far as files, we have one file here that is for the 2007, 8, and 9 trucks. We have one for the 10 and 11, and one for the 2012. So you just have to pick the file, you know, for the year model of your truck. Ours is a 2008, so we're going to pick the first one here, and we're going to left click one time. Now it's going to redirect us to another page, which is going to tell you some important liability information and uh, disclaimer. Just uh, scroll to the bottom and click I agree with the terms. And it will redirect you again to another page that's going to give you some instructions on how you should uh, remove your, your AGR system to run this file. So when you get to the bottom of the screen here, you'll click Download Smarty J67ME Update File. And when you left click on that, it should automatically download. And we see it over here on our left. It's downloading now. And uh, now the download is complete. Now it's important to note that whenever you're installing ME tuning in these newer trucks that you cannot run this tuning with the diesel particulate filter still in place. Uh, once the, we download this tuning, whenever, uh, whenever you run the truck, it, it's not ever going to go into regeneration again, which is what cleans the particulate filter whenever it becomes, uh, whenever it becomes full or the restriction level gets to the point that it, it sends the truck into regeneration. So if you did leave the particulate filter on and run the ME tuning, then your back pressure would uh, just keep increasing until it got to the point that it could cause uh, potential head gasket failure and or internal engine damage. So now that we've got all of this uh, downloaded, we can just minimize our screen here. And the uh, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up our, uh, our 7-Zip program. click on that and it says do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer click yes 
and click install and then click finish all right also we want to go ahead and uh, get our smarty usb up and running so uh, left click on that link and just simply click run and now the smarty usb is up and running so now we can go down here to our start menu and we're going to find our 7-zip program that we just downloaded and uh, if you go to the, the search bar down here and punch in 7 it'll pull up the 7-zip file manager uh, icon here and uh, we'll left click on that one time and it will run the program and this is what it should look like now typically whenever you install uh, the download for, for the, the actual file itself for the tune uh, it's going to put it in the C drive of your computer should go under uh, your downloads so you'll go to the C drive and then the folder that says users and then the folder with your name and then the downloads folder and uh, the file that we downloaded here you can see it right here with the white folder on it is the SJ67V606BR2 if you will left click one time on that file and then pause and left click again it will display the full file name and then you can run a comparison with it to the smarty update page to make sure you have the appropriate file now once you've confirmed that you can uh, just simply highlight that file there and go up here to the top of the page and click the uh, blue minus sign that says extract and it'll say extract to and it'll have the C users uh, your name downloads and then the file name and just simply click OK and it'll extract and now you'll see that we have a yellow folder here at the top with the same file name now uh, you double click on that and here's going to be your file itself so whenever you view the whole file name here uh, you see the dot smt that is the the extracted version that is ready to load up in your smarty now from here we've done extracted the file so we pull back up our smarty usb update screen and we're going to go here under file and we're going to go to open and we're going to go to the same location we're going to go to the C drive and we're going to go to let's see, let me get to my C drive to uh, our name here in our downloads folder and we're going to see that yellow SJ67 left click on it twice then left click here again and that will load that file name up right here in the box on the smarty USB update now from that point you're just going to take your printer cable and you're going to slip it into the top of your smarty and whenever you do your smarty will illuminate And uh, a lot of times you'll have to give it a second when you plug it in and uh, let uh, Windows download the driver software that it needs. And uh, once that, uh, that driver software has installed on your computer, you simply click send. And it'll say erasing memory, 19 minutes to complete update. From there, you just let the tuner sit until it's done. And whenever it's done, it'll tell you that the update was successfully completed. And you can unplug your Smarty and go hook it up to your truck and uh, tune it.